let me do this okay uh, so what we are going to do now is we'll just uh, try and figure out set of all Pareto efficient allocation uh, for this exchange economy where u1 and u2 are quasi linear and defined in this way okay and these are the endowments okay so let's let's just do this okay uh, so so the edge of the box will look like this Okay, uh, and uh, you know because uh, uh, the indifference curves, you know, have a convex shape. Okay, uh, for both the individuals, uh, you know, because these are actually you know concave functions, so these are also quasi-concave. Okay, uh, so we'll we'll you know we'll we'll have you know ICs which are going to look like this. Uh, Okay. Okay. Uh, for individual one, they're going to look like this. For individual two, uh, again, they are they are going to look like this. Okay. Uh, so clearly, you know, uh, Pareto efficient allocation. Okay. Any Pareto efficient allocation inside the box, inside the Edgeworth box. So I'm not talking about the corners yet. Okay. Or the boundaries yet. Okay. So any Pareto efficient allocation inside the box will have this property. that at that point you know at that particular allocation the indifference curves of the two individuals will be tangential to each other is that fine yes or no okay uh, so how do we figure that out you know how do we find all the efficient allocations which are inside the box now uh, you know if you if you just just uh, uh, just look at this you know a, a point like this will satisfy uh you know uh, two conditions you know one is that it is inside the box second is that at this point the slope of individual one's indifference curve is equal to slope of individual two's indifference curve or you can say marginal rate of substitution of individual one is equal to marginal rate of substitution of individual two okay so all that you have to do is figure out the mrs of one figure out the mrs of two okay equate it use the feasibility constraint okay and then you'll get the set of all efficient allocations inside the box okay so let's just do that okay so let's let's figure out the mrs of one okay so mrs of one is individual one is uh, uh del u1 by del x1 divided by del u1 by del y1 okay and what is that well uh this is one uh this is one by root y1 okay so we are going to get root y1 fine and uh, what is mrs of individual two mrs of individual two is in exactly the same way because it's symmetric so I'm, i don't have to calculate it again uh you know so it, it should be root y2 is that okay yes okay now at this point slopes or the mrs's of the two individuals are equal okay uh so you know uh, a point like this at a point like this uh uh this condition holds mrs1 is equal to mrs2 okay so this is the first requirement okay for for efficiency uh the second requirement is that it should be a feasible allocation so what that means is uh at this point uh x1 plus x2 must be equal to uh well what is the total endowment of x four units and y1 plus y2 must be equal to four and of course the known negativity constraints also apply you know which uh, i'm i'm not writing okay uh so what is what are we going to get you know if you're going to equate mrs of one and two we are going to get 
you know so if you just equate these two you will get y1 equal to y2 yes or no is that okay do you agree this will give you y1 equal to y2 yes or no yes sir okay so what that means is that any allocation inside the box that satisfy y1 equal to y2 is called efficient yes or no okay now if you use feasibility if you use feasibility uh, so feasibility says that uh, y1 plus y2 must be 4 okay uh, so that gives you y1 equal to y2 equal to 2 right so if you use this and this you know you get y1 equal to y2 equal to 2 do you agree yes or no okay now this length is 4 okay so if i want to plot uh uh you know all those points that satisfy y1 equal to y2 equal to 2 in the edgeworth box then i'll get this line yes or no okay so this is two do you agree okay so all these are parade efficient okay uh, so basically you know uh, what you if you want you can actually plot uh, you know couple of more indifference curves uh to actually get the idea you know of what we have got okay uh and then is that fine is that clear have you all understood this any questions okay now this is going to give us all the points inside the box okay but what about the points on the boundaries okay because i mean we have seen that on the boundaries uh, the, the this this mrs equality condition may not hold is that okay yes or no okay uh, so uh, so you know you can just just do the inspection you know you can just do the check and uh, and you'll get it okay so let's let's consider a point here for example you know is this parade efficient okay so uh, so let's let's just ask this question is this parade efficient uh, so if you want to check this uh check this point you know what we are going to do is the following we are going to figure out what is the marginal rate of substitution of individual one at this point what is the marginal rate of substitution of individual two at this point okay uh, so if you see at this point do you agree y1 is greater than y2 yes or no do you agree at this point y1 is greater than y2 because y1 is greater than 2 and y2 is less than 2 so y1 is greater than y2 yes or no so this tells you what this tells you that mrs of 1 is actually greater than mrs of 2 which means which means that uh, you know uh, uh, which means that uh, the indifference curve of individual 1 will be steeper than indifference curve of individual 2 okay so if i if i draw the indifference curve of 1 you know they'll be steeper okay compared to okay compared to uh, indifference curve of individual 2 okay uh, so do you agree steeper this is flatter okay uh, so what that means is you know uh, there is this region here where you can actually uh, you know increase the satisfaction level of both the individuals you know if you if you actually choose an allocation like this this allocation is pareto superior to this one yes or no 
because this will be on a higher IC of two, and this will also be on a higher IC for one. Yes or no? So basically, this tells us that this particular point is not Pareto efficient. Is that fine? Okay, now let's do the same check over here. Okay. Uh, so, you know, if you, if you just check over here, MRS of 1 is less than MRS of 2 now, right? Since MRS of 1 is less than MRS of 2, so indifference curve of uh, individual 1 will look like this. And indifference curve of individual 2 will look like this. Now, clearly, this is Pareto efficient because there is no way you can improve the satisfaction level of one without reducing the satisfaction level of the other. The reason is if you want to make one better off, you have to move in this region. But if you move in this region, you'll end up making two worse off. Okay. And if you want to make uh, two better off, you have to move in this region. But if you move in this region, you'll end up making one worse off. Okay, so there is no feasible way in which you can improve the satisfaction level of one without reducing the satisfaction level of the other. So this point is Pareto efficient. Okay, and I, uh, you know, so basically, you know, you can just do the, this, this kind of inspection, you know, at these points as well. Okay, in exactly the same way. And you will get this as the set of all efficient allocations. Okay, so these are set of all efficient allocations. Have you understood this? So let me write this set. Okay, so set of Pareto efficient allocations. So set of Pareto efficient allocations. Okay, is basically those allocations okay that lies inside the Edgeworth box. So basically that are feasible, okay, and uh, that satisfies. Uh, so obviously, you know, you have to write these ones. Uh, so these ones have the property that y1 equals y2 equals 2. Okay, union okay uh, what about these points okay uh, if you see at these points uh, x1 is 0 okay and uh, y1 is between 0 and 2 okay so x1 is 0 and y1 is between 0 and 2 okay and then union uh these ones okay uh so x1 y1 x2 y2 in f such that so what about these points you know at these points uh x2 is 0 And uh, y2 is between 0 and 2. Okay. Is that okay? So, this is the set of all Pareto efficient allocations. 